Welcome to Electrocute, where we showcase some of our favorite wearables and crafting products. I'm Dia, Sparkman Textile Specialist. And I'm Nick, Creative Technologist. And today, we'd like to share a really cool effect that gives you a bright neon glow in your projects in low light, electroluminescence. Electroluminescent materials, or EL for short, uh, give a nice bright neon glow, and they're very easy to use. All you need is the EL product itself, a power supply, an inverter, and a controller. For your simpler projects, we carry a battery pack inverter, which combines all of these functions in one. You just plug your EL product into the inverter and press the button to change the patterns. It's got several settings so that you can choose between a steady glow and two speeds of blinking. Each standard battery pack inverter has two plugs, so you can plug two strands in at once to perform the same behaviors. For more complicated projects, you'll need an EL sequencer, like the El Escudo, which I believe is Spanish for electroluminescent coat. That's probably not true. Anyway, the El Escudo is a shield, so you'll need an Arduino, a power supply, and an inverter to go with it. But you can use it to program custom animations and behaviors into your EL wire. We carry EL products in three separate form factors, EL wire, tape, and panels. Tape replicates bright striped effects, like you saw in Tron. It's flexible to an extent, but it can be hard to stabilize in a very soft garment, so it's better saved for more rigid projects or well-reinforced fabrics. Panels are great for when you need to illuminate a large shape or area. You can mask it to create an all-over glow in a shaped symbol, as Dia did with this dress. Or you can use the square shape as a backing for translucent materials, as I've done with these illuminated photo negatives. You can also cut the panels, but you'll have to be careful. We'll talk about that in a minute. EL wire is probably the most common form of EL that you'll run into, and it's also the easiest to use. EL wire comes in two different varieties, the plain EL wire and chasing EL wire. Chasing EL wire, on the other hand, has a different inverter and creates a hypnotic motion effect. Instead of blinking, you can use the battery pack inverter to change the speed of the chasing effect. Do note that the chasing effect is created by combining three strands of EL into one wire. That means that if you're going to use it with the sequencer, it's going to take up the amount of space that three regular wires would have taken. EL wire is more flexible than panels and tape, so it's very versatile and easy to add to textile or rigid projects. We'd be remiss if we didn't also mention that while EL has a lot going for it, it's nearly invisible in bright light. You shouldn't expect to see a strong effect indoors with the lights on, and almost none outdoors in the sunlight. You really want low light conditions to get the full effect. It makes a huge difference. You should also be careful with your EL products. Bending them too much can actually break the connections inside, ruining them. So acute angles are a bad idea. You can cut these products though, if you need them to be shorter or a different shape. Just make sure that you don't sever these connections. Also make sure that you reclose that edge, or just seal the tip in the case of EL wire or tape. You don't want to get shocked. And good luck with all of your EL projects. We can't wait to see you basking in the neon glow of your success. If you've got any questions about these products, suggestions for other products you'd like to see us feature, or just want to request an invite to our next sick EL party, drop us a line in the comments and we'll try to address it either there or in the next video. Thanks for watching.